over the last 60 years, uh, the Peruvian Air Force uh, have never uh, flew any uh, North American warplanes. Now, uh, a few months ago, the Lieutenant General of the Peruvian Air Force, uh, Chavez Caterriano, um, he made an agreement with the uh, United States Air Force. And he said something very interesting, though, that he actually went to the Pentagon. Uh, we have a clip for that, and it's going to last for about um, 40 seconds uh, for you to see. And we're going to uh, mm -hmm. hear what you have to say, though. Yeah. Yesterday, for the first time in my life, I visited the Pentagon building. I had a chance to talk with some officials in order to strengthen our relationship, in order to untie uh, old notes we had uh, that we could not lead our countries to progress. We had uh, an agreement yesterday at the Pentagon who will be very important to the development of the Peruvian Air Force. That is a, such a uh, deal breaker for the Peruvian Air, Air Force, though. Uh, do you foresee in the future that the Peruvian Air Force will perhaps uh, purchase any F 16s, Block 70, or F 15 um, for their Air Force? Or you see that this is not possible? The United States don't give uh, the Peruvian Air Force such technology, though. I think that. Uh, thanks. I think that something will happen. I don't know if it will be F-16s or F-18s, but I think that uh, Peru will uh, be procuring equipment from the United States in the future, more than in the past, for sure. Of course, this has Chile very worried. I mean, if I was Chile here, I would be very concerned. Um, country, you know, in our research boutique, we have this motto, every nation advances its national interests with all means at its disposal. All means. Every country's means are different, of course, but all nations do that. In the case of Chile, they are worried about this five megapores in Peru. And uh, I'm sure that they have at least, uh, they have surely military plans to take out the, for the most important two or three in case of a conflict. So this port of Chancay, if I was in the military of Chile, would be my number one target uh, in case of war or conflict. Or, you know, I don't know what you were alluding to earlier, but if you alluded that the United States would do something, I would, I, if I was the U.S. South Command, I would actually be talking to Chile to see if we can do something about that port in case of a conflict. We are not there yet, but, you know, many things can change in the world. So... Um, I think that um, I think that um, Peru um, had to build these ports. Peru wanted to build these ports, and I think if Peru had waited for the United States to help build this port with no know-how and money, Peru could have waited another thirty years.